Hello guys, welcome back to another episode of Dragon Quest XI Oh, Jaden's walkthrough In this episode we are going to collect um, some treasures and explore some of these new islands here So, I'm gonna open up the map here um, we're not, I'm on the wrong one, one second I want to head all the way up to this, the other one, right up, right over here actually Right over here, but I don't want to disembark yet. Okay, so we're gonna start here, and then we're gonna work our way west to that, uh, to that far, to the far west uh, landing there, and then we're gonna go right down south and look for other, other locations to land. And we're just gonna keep going all the way around the map here until we collect all the treasures that we can for now. And update our beastry a little bit. I don't know if I'm gonna update the whole beastry this act. It might be better for me to wait till until post game and do one final one final update for my beastry. So that's something I've been I've been thinking about. That way I don't have to make another part right after I make the act two part. Because after after act two is post game anyways. So people are, are just gonna be trying to to update your beast tree at post game like all over again so I might I'm just gonna I might just wait until post game to update the rest of the beast tree. Alright so let's start here and just work our way all the way around. Okay so, so which one is this one? Okay so this is the lost land. Okay so while we're here let's go collect these rocky spots and any treasures that are in this area. So I'm just gonna start by going all the way up here. I don't know if there's any. I don't know if there's any enemies here. Okay, so the first rocky spot we come up to is Technicolor Dreamcloth. Now, as we proceed further nor north here, we come up to a bunch of spirits. <laughs> I still have no idea what those spirit things are. Are they, are they like guides or something? What the? F okay. Let me just check. Oh, there's one across. Okay, we're gonna grab the last rocky spot here and then we'll... I'm gonna search around to see if there's any chests or treasures. Let me cut this up here. Colorful, colorful cocoon, colorful cocoon, and... Number grass. So, that colorful cocoon, that's a new item. I don't remember if we ever got something like that before. Is this like their home or something? Okay, let's go all the way behind this... Uh, temple looking building here whatever it is and let's surely there has to be something here yeah there's a chest all right we'll grab this and that's a recipe book entitled good godly gear and we will learn how to make sacral staves and venus tears so once we collect all the treasures um, one thing we're gonna check out after is the forge to see where we can upgrade our gear but that, that'll be at the end of the episode okay so i'm just gonna resummon the flying mount because i don't think there's any any more items here and we're gonna proceed all the way west to a, a new landing to collect more treasures for our adventure okay so i'm just gonna fly whoop, all the way down here do the spinneroo. <laughs> I love doing that. Okay, let's land here. What is this one? Snuffleheim Whale Station. Okay, so we'll first start by collect running all the way down and collecting any treasures and sparky spots along our way. So there's one right in front of us here. We'll grab that one. And that's gonna give us Royal Ruby. Oh, nice. You can actually make some stuff with that if you haven't already. You can actually farm those early in the game. Well, not early, but like early in Act 2. I should be more specific. I, I already have these guys by Beast Tree, so I'm just gonna ignore them. And collect my final Sparky Spot here to my left. Oh, it's a mining one, which is nice. We might get some good ore, maybe. Ethereal Stone. Ice Crystal. That's good, Ice Crystal. I actually needed that. So now, I, now you guys know where to get Ice Crystals. This chest is locked, unfortunately, and we still do not have the key to open it. However, it looks like there's another area right around here 
And we'll see if there's... Aha! So there is one chest that we can get here. And that is... Recipe book. Another recipe book entitled an album of imperial attire. And we will now be able to make emperor's attire and empress's robes. I'm gonna have to look at that for sure. Alright, so that's everything here. Now let's uh... Let's go items, important items, and... Call upon... The Fly Mount. Okay, so now we're gonna make our way south. Right from the west one. And is this the right one? Yeah, okay, this one right here. Let me check which one this is. Champ Savage Whale Station. Okay, let's land here. And see what we have in store for us. Okay, so I just checked the map and we do have two sparky spots here. So we're just gonna make our way all the way down. And we'll pick up. Pick them up along the way. Here's one right in front of us here. That's uh, Lucida Shard. Now we'll just go all the way around. The good thing about this is uh, they're all really short. Whoa, we haven't fought these things yet. I'm not gonna kill one really quick. It looks like there's two different variants of them. One's pink and one's blue. I wonder if they're different. Alright, let's kill these guys really quick here. Break up some of our... Just, uh, break up the video a little bit. A little bit instead of uh, collecting everything. We can show some battle. Update the beast a little bit, you know? <laughs> Do something different. Oh, let me kill this guy. I think he's a different variant. He might be different. Because he's blue. Yeah, they are different. They're blood bonnets. And they, these ones are blue bosses. These pink ones. Okay, so I'm just gonna wipe the floor here, party pooper, on these blood guys. And I'll use Quarter Slash to finish them all off. Okay. Um, that was easy. <laughs> oh! Tricky Devil, hello. Get over here. Where are you flying off to, buddy? Um, oh, I almost have all my characters pepped up again. I'll kill like the only single character here, the only single monster. And um, uh, this is a good one here to use for Savando for enemies. I should be able to wipe wipe the floor. There we go. Yeah, we got level 55. Oh, I forgot to show you guys. Okay, I, I have to I'll show you guys my skills at this point. Uh, the main person that I that I want to show you guys is Eric. Actually, I don't really care about the rest. Eric here is the most important character to show you guys. This is the skill path three that you want Eric going on at level. Let me see what level it is. Okay, so Eric's level 52, character builder level 52 Eric, and you want him along the, that path here. All the way straight down, and all the way around until the bottom. And once, you, after level 52, you want to start going down the sword path until you learn dual, dual deadly. I'm gonna update my guide. I'm gonna update. I'm gonna make a guide, a full guide for skill trees after I think though. This that's just a quick look at what I have for Eric, which is very important because Eric is actually the strongest character in the game if you get him down the right path. So that's why I want to show you guys him. Okay, so this is another one of those uh, treasure chests that we can get. I should have probably waited until I got the silver key maybe to start looking for treasure. But you guys might find some of these recipes were getting useful like right now. Instead of waiting for the silver instead of waiting for the key. Here's another treasure chest. We're hiding behind the uh, wooden This is a recipe. Uh, we can make cinder block earrings, all weather earrings, blackout earrings. Okay, so that's everything here. Now we can now let's summon our mount. I don't really have a name for him. His name's supposed to be Calamus. <laughs> Calamus reminds me of the of what Ellie called the horse in The Last of Us, Callus. I don't know why it reminded me of that. I'm I'm freaking weird. <laughs> I, I guess because it sounds similar. Um, let's go, okay, all the way straight down. It always teleports us to like the same location. We want to go all the way down south. To this one now, which is, I don't know what, what this one is. Let's check. Laguna de Gondolia. Okay, sure, let's land here. Alright, so we check our ma map for Sparky Spot, and you can see that we have uh, three Sparky Spots to get. So let's go grab them. Okay, this is sparkly spot number one. 
Wormwood. And Sparkly Sputten number two. Wormwood. <laughs> Again. Come on, I need, I need newer items. I need newer items. I think I'm still trying to collect the fun. Oh yeah, I got 2,000 kill achievement by the way. Uh, I got it while I was grinding for level 50. So I'll probably show you guys where to grind for level 50. Just because level 50 is so easy to get. So... You can just like, just like kill muddy hands or something. And they give like 34k experience. Where's the other Sparkly Spirit? Okay, let's go up here. Jump up. You gotta jump up here and grab the other Sparkly Spirit. Three for, three for one deal here. Colorful Cocoon, Colorful Cocoon. Come on, man. You gotta give me some new items. Okay, so let's summon Calamus because there's nothing else here except for Sparkly Spots. The one we haven't done yet is the next closest one is the center one. So let's go ahead right down the center here. I'll show you guys once I... This one right here. Let's land here. This is Mango Grove Way, okay. So let's go see what this place has in store for us, shall we? Okay, so this place has uh, three sparky spots for us. One of them is right in front of us as we run in. And that is Colorful Cocoon. They're everywhere around these islands. Those colorful cocoons. Here's another one. Uh, equable emerald. Ah, uh, here it is. Okay, that's ethical stone. Where is it? Oh, here's a new enemy. I think there's two new enemies. I wonder how much experience those bloody hands give. Let me try and wipe them out. No. Oh wait, I killed one of them. Quadra Slash. That should do it. I'm pretty sure they're probably not going to be as good as um, the metal ones, but we'll see. Another one uh, bites the yeah, they're just normal. Alright, so if you go to the Defeated Monster list and you go to View Monsters by Region, you go to Mango Grove, Whale Station, you can actually get Hardy Hands here. It, as you can see, experience 34,400 each. So, those are pretty good. Uh, that's what I grinded on for a little bit to get level 50. Now, I'm not sure which monster has the highest chance of giving hardy hands, but if I had to guess, it'd probably, probably be these bloody hands. That's just my guess. You guys might have to experiment a little bit though. Now, let's see if we can find any treasure. And of course, there's always one that's locked up. So, that's useless to us. Okay, so I'm gonna head down here. I'm gonna head down here. This path here. And I'm gonna make a right turn. To see if there's any... Alright, here's a chest. Meteorang. So right on the map here, that's where the chest was. Just in case you lost track. Of where I was running. Alright, so that's it. That's all this here. Feel free to look for Hardy Hands here if you like. Now we shall go to a new island, collect more stuff. Okay, so we fin finished exploring pretty much all of the west and south. So now we're heading down east to those eastern, southeastern uh, whale stations there, and we're going to see what, what's in store for us there as we continue to make our way around the map here. Okay, so I'm coming up to it right now. Let me see which one this is. Galopolis Whale Station. All right, sure, we'll land here. Okay, so we do have four, four sparkly spots in this. Uh, in this uh, map here to look for. One of, the, one of them is going to be brought in rock. And as we continue to make our forward, uh, our way forward here, we, we'll come up to this one here. And that's uh, another brought in rock. And I think there's enemies here, penny pinchers, which we found in Gildan Hall before. If you don't, if you never killed one of those, you can kill them right now to update the beast tree. I am going to knock down this strawberry tree here. Grab some more sparky spots, wormwood. Spellbound Bow, Wormwood, and I'm just going to continue to go around 
to get this one. Sainted Soma. It looks like that's all the Spronkis boss and there's no treasure chest. Okay, so that's all that's here, so let's uh, call Calamus here and head back to the skies, to the next well station. Okay, so from I'm just heading from Glopus right now, and I'm heading to this whale station right here. And this one is Huddle Step Whale Station, the southern one. Alright, so there's actually a Sparks Spot right behind us when we land. That's gonna be Densinia. And now once we grab that, we just get all the way down here and grab the other ones. I think there might be a chest here as well. I'm not sure if it's a locked one. Probably is. Knowing our luck here, because there seems to be like a lot of those locked, locked uh, treasure chests. Oh, these are a new monster. We try to pick the uh, pyro, pyro. I'm just gonna use normal attack there. Whoa, nice critical. There we go. Took out one, and I'll finish this thing off. Probably multi thrust. I should probably start getting hammered with my party. Alright, so that's Brex boss right over here. Let's grab this. And that's Sunny Citron. If we go all the way around here, we'll get Technicolor Dream Color Cloth. In this treasure chest, we get three pieces of it. Here's where I am on the map. Okay, so grab that. And that's the only treasure chest here, as far as I can see anyway. Or find. Alright, time to take to the skies again. Let's go. Okay, so this time I'm heading this way here. I'm still going all the way around east here. As you can see, I'm, I'm coming up to the next stop here. We're actually very close to our, our main objective, but let's land here to the north and part of Huddle Step this time. And this has uh, four Sparky Spots. One of them is right behind us. So we'll grab this. That's going to give us Diamond. And we're just going to go all the way all the way around until we get the other ones as usual. That's what we usually do. I don't know if there's any new monsters here, but I know there's like... We, I know there's sparks spots for sure. So there's a lava lamp. And there might be a treasure chest here. So we'll have to keep a lookout for that. Okay, so there is monsters here as well. The next sparky spot can be found all the way around all the way around here. Alright, so the next sparky spot can be found here. This one is Dragonhorn. And now from that we'll just continue to go all the way around and jump up here. Grab this one. This is artful. Amethyst. And... What the? I'm gonna fight some of these things here. Finish you guys off, normal attacks. We got an encounter with the vicious, vicious Ethereal Serpent. Okay, I'm just gonna finish this thing off with multi thrust. There we go. And now we're gonna head all the way down here to where this uh, cage is. There's a tre treasure chest right inside here, but we're gonna check behind it. And grab this treasure chest right here. And that's gonna give us a recipe book entitled Even More Dragony Designs, which we can now make Red Dragon Rods and Worm Wands. And that's all that's here. Let me just make sure I got everything. Okay. Alright, so now I'll call Calamus again. And I think there's like a couple more areas maybe to explore. And then we are done collecting stuff for now. Okay, so I'm flying to the last landing, it looks like, on the eastern side here. This is the last one. And then we have the, uh, the only one we haven't explored yet is the one right behind us, the main story one, the main progress. So let's land here. Okay, so we have three Sparky Spots here. So let's go run ahead and collect them. Okay, this one is a piece of wormwood. And this one up here is another piece of wormwood. I think we have a new variant of these saber cats. Dark saber cats. Yeah, these are definitely new. We can go ahead and kill these things really quick. I think I should be able to finish them up with sword dance. There we go. Oh! Rolling in it. Awarded for having at least 100,000 gold coins on one person at once. Holy crap, I didn't even realize I had that much gold on me. It's getting really easy to get gold right now. Okay, so let's go around. Let's get this uh, final sparkly spot right here, which is Artful Am Amethyst. Okay, so right now I'm just gonna zoom 
to a random place to save my game, probably Arborea, because there's a side quest there that we still have to pick up later. You guys can pick it up right now if you want, but I'm gonna pick it up later when I in the walkthrough once I because we can't really do the side quest right now until we get to Gondolia. So I'm just gonna pick it up later once um we're we we're in Gondolia the, or no not the Gondolia. In Galopolis, sorry, Galopolis I meant. So here's the side quest. We can't really do it until Galopolis though. So I'm just gonna save it for when we actually get to that point in the game. And then I'll just do it all at once. Okay, so I'm gonna save my game here. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching.